Darren Wilson speaking out almost a year after shooting and killing unarmed 18-year-old Michael Brown. A new photo of the former Ferguson police officer accompanying an over 20-page in-depth interview by the New Yorker magazine. The reporter, who spent several days with him in March, says the now 29-year-old lives in an undisclosed new home. Very few know where. We just want to have a normal life. Far from Wilson's wish proclaimed for he and his wife in an interview with ABC News nine months ago, Wilson now says he'll only go to places where there are like-minded individuals and it's not a mixing pot. And about the death that sparked national outrage. Wilson says he doesn't think of Michael Brown as a person because, quote, it doesn't matter at this point. When asked if he thought Brown was truly a bad guy, Wilson said, I only knew him for those 45 seconds in which he was trying to kill me, so I don't know. Brown's family says they're not surprised. There are so many inconsistencies and hypocrisy throughout the article itself. It just perpetuates the view of Darren Wilson as being self-serving. Wilson admittedly has not read the Justice Department's report on the systemic racism in Ferguson. The former cop says he's not going to keep living in the past. Wilson says if you live in a high crime area with a lot of poverty, there's going to be a large police presence. He claims it's not a race issue. Wilson goes on to say that in Ferguson, there is a lack of initiative to get a job. The youth are running in the streets, he says, not worried about working in the morning. The 29-year-old claims that culture is everywhere in the inner cities. Darren Wilson is uh, no racist. I know him well. I think the article misrepresents who he is.